What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can live stream your off-road race to YouTube using a software called OBS. Now this is cool because uh, it allows you to showcase your sponsors. It also allows people who might be watching from home, maybe your family, your fans, to be able to watch you on a bigger screen, could be on their TV, their phones, computer, anything. This is YouTube guys, okay? Plus it's gonna make your sponsors happy because you can display their logos and you easily be able to run commercials from your sponsors. So this is very cool and let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do, obviously to be able to do this, you need to get a kit called Starstream. If you're not uh, familiar with it, this is the website. You can go to starstream.pro and then basically what this does, uh, it allows you to have two cameras. So as you can see, it's a kit that comes with a small box like this one with two uh, GoPro cameras. So you can mount the GoPro cameras in anywhere you want on your vehicle. Uh, basically, you can maybe be able to show inside the cabin uh, when you're driving so people can see what's going on. Maybe put another one on the top of your vehicle or you can put in the back. So again, you can find a way to like be creative and try to find those creative angles you want to show to your audience. So it's going to come with these two cameras and you can again it's it's ready uh, it's been tested i've been using it with some of my clients by the way my name is sam i'm a remote producer for off-road so again i'm gonna show you how to do this but if you don't have time to do it you can reach out to me i'm gonna be able to help you actually run the production for you okay yeah so this is how it works really as you can see in here you can mount it inside your car and this box is gonna be able to send two main links that we're gonna be using inside OBS. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute, but this is the kit so far that I recommend because I've been using it. I mean, my clients have been using it and I personally use the links from this kit to remote produce these people and it actually uh, works perfectly okay so the first thing you need guys you need to get the star stream box kit okay so you can get it from this website go ahead and get it reach out to their team they're super helpful they're gonna help you set it up and get it going and i'm gonna show you uh, obviously how to use some of the links from star stream okay the next step of course you're gonna need the computer and this is something that would need to be done probably from home so you're not gonna be racing with the streaming kind of setup right so you're gonna need someone who's gonna be running it from home or from your office you know, where they have access to internet connection i could be your nephew could be your friend it could be a remote producer or someone like me it doesn't matter right oh, but the idea if you're watching this video is probably because you want to run it yourself maybe so for sure you're not gonna race and do it you're gonna need someone to run it for you so maybe get your brother your sister or any family member or a friend just to run it from home okay so that's that second thing you're gonna need to download this uh, application it's an application called obs it's 100 free you're gonna go to obsproject.com and just download it if you're using windows just go ahead and download the windows version if you're using mac just go ahead and download the mac version once it's downloaded just go to your download folder click uh, install it's super easy to install go ahead and open it the first time you open it it's gonna look like this so this is a blank you know copy of obs and the first thing we need to do we're gonna go ahead and create some scenes okay and i'm gonna show you how we're gonna get the signals from your cameras the camera is gonna be mounted on your racing car into obs and actually create some beautiful scenes that you can actually use to stream to youtube so the first scene is gonna look like this okay the first thing we need to do we can go ahead and rename this scene right here so we can call it cam one okay we have two cameras obviously and then under this is what we call the scene we're gonna go to sources now so we're gonna make sure that we highlight this scene thing okay and then we're gonna go under source we're gonna hit the plus sign and then we're gonna add what we call a media source okay and then we're gonna call it srt cam one okay and i'm gonna hit okay and then you want to make sure you uncheck local file okay and then what we need to do where it says input this is where we're gonna input the link that we're gonna get from star stream so once you have your star stream system installed okay star stream team they're gonna give you three links okay the first one is gonna be what they call the watch link so the watch link usually 
it's going to give you access to something that looks like this. Basically, it's just a web page where you can preview your cameras, camera one and camera two. So when you connect it right now, the link that I'm using is the cameras are not on. But when you connect it, you're going to be able to see your feed. OK, this is something you can do, but you can not stream on YouTube with this. It's just something you can send to someone who has a computer or phone to be able to preview your link. So it's not super, super useful. It is useful to just preview, but you can not stream, you can not run commercials and things like that. OK, so you can use this to preview your cameras. That's fine. But another link you're going to need or two links that you're going to need is what we call SRT links. They're going to look like this. OK, so they're going to give you two SRT links. Now, each SRT link, it's actually linked to your camera. So we have two cameras. We're going to get two SRT camera links. OK, so we're going to take that SRT link, the first one. OK, we're going to copy it and then we're going to go to obs and then we're gonna go here where it says again make sure you uncheck local file and then you're gonna go here and then paste that into input here okay everything else you don't have to do anything you can just leave it the way it is and then hit okay so right now because the camera is not on you're not gonna see anything okay and that's okay now we're gonna go to camera two so we're gonna go under scenes again and then we're gonna set up our camera two so we're gonna do cam two okay and then we're gonna go under sources and then hit we want to make sure scene of cam 2 is selected and then hit media source okay and then can name it srt cam 2 and then hit okay and then again make sure you uncheck local file and then go to input and then you're gonna input the srt link you got before camera two, okay? So it's gonna be your second SRT link, okay? So once you're done, you don't have to do anything else, just leave it that way. So now you have camera one, and then you have camera two. Again, if you guys, you can't see anything right now because there's no feed coming in. Another thing you can do is you can go to create another scene, and this scene we can call it, okay, split cams, okay? Uh, basically, it's a scene where we're gonna have two cameras at the same time, so you can switch from camera one, camera two and since sometimes you can switch from camera you can do like a split screen kind of thing okay so on this one what we need to do is basically you can go to camera one and then copy go under source copy srt cam one come here and then hit paste reference and then go to camera two and then copy this one right here camera two and then go here under split cams and then paste reference now what you can do here now what right now again you're not seeing anything but basically once you paste these links you're gonna be able to kind of like squeeze and have two cameras in one screen so to be able to demo that because my camera is not on again i'm gonna go ahead and bring in another camera so i can just give you an example of what that would look like okay all right guys so what i've done i bring in some demo cameras just to show you because the cameras are not on okay so your camera one is gonna look like this and then your camera two is gonna look like this and then your camera three depending on where you mounted it now you don't have camera three but your split cams that's what i'm gonna show you okay so for your split cams you're gonna have two cameras and then what you can do you can take one camera let's say you put it some somewhere somewhere here and then you can put the camera two somewhere here okay so now you're gonna have to make a choice depending on which one you want it to kind of be bigger so you can maybe have one that's going to be a little bigger like this and then have another one, maybe camera two, something like this. Again, you're going to have to be creative and come up with the layout that kind of works for you, depending on what your cameras look like. OK, so you can do something like this. OK, and then what you can do, you can also go ahead and um, let's put camera two on the top so something that will look like this okay so now you have like two cameras so people can have an idea of what's happening again this is going to depend on your cameras now another thing you can do just to make it look cool you can pull like do add another kind of like a background image so go to source and then hit the plus sign and then add a color source so you can just leave it away you don't need to name it and then you can choose any color that you want so you can go to select color and then let's say you want to choose maybe your team's main color is something like blue uh something like this and then what you need to do is you need to make sure it's actually all the way to the bottom right so you can have like 
a color that will look like this again this is not perfect but as you can see it's just gonna give you two images uh so you have camera one you can choose from camera one switch from camera one camera two and camera three now if you want it if you have some logos and uh, things like that for your sponsors you can actually go ahead and hit the plus sign and then add image and then you say logo okay and then you can go ahead and browse your logos so let's go ahead and, and let me find some logos in here so this is just a quick example this is uh, one of my teams that i produce again you know as you can see it doesn't look super wild because the background is kind of blue so let's say you can go here and then change the background to something like let's say black or white so yeah so now you can see that the logo is kind of showing so you, you have to be creative and you can add more logos as you want okay but this is the most basic way of setting up your cameras and uh, everything in obs okay now there are some other advanced ways i don't want to get into it right now and then uh probably gonna show you in a different video once we have all the scenes kind of ready the next thing we need to do is we want to make sure we go live to youtube okay so to do that uh, we're gonna go to youtube so you want to make sure you have a youtube channel okay make sure you logged in and then go to where it says create and then hit go live and then the first thing we need to do is we're gonna go here where it says uh manage okay or if you want to schedule it ahead of time you can go ahead and schedule it if you want to go live right away you can do it so we're gonna go ahead and click schedule here right here okay hit schedule and then what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and hit create new and then you want to make sure you name so you can call it off road you know find a title that makes sense they say you stream if they say if it's koh 2025 this is just an example and then your description you can put any description that you want you're just gonna put in you know test you can put your team name all the good stuff make sure you choose a streaming software how do you want to go live make sure you choose streaming software category you want to make sure you put it under sports and then you want to make sure you design it you know a thumbnail uh maybe a picture of your vehicle you know something like this is an example and you want to make sure if you have a playlist usually i would encourage you to create playlist and then maybe name them by race name so if you're doing like koh put like koh playlist if you're doing put baha 100 you know like all those race names just create playlists for each race and then make sure you always check uh no it's not made for kids okay and then make sure altered content make sure you click no everything else you leave it the way it is and then click next and then click next you want to make sure you choose public but for now because i don't want to go public i'm gonna click unlisted and then here you choose the date and the time you're gonna go live okay so i'm just gonna choose a random time and once you're done this is what you're gonna get all right so you're gonna get something that looks like this and then what you need to do basically what we need here we need one thing we need something called a stream key so we're gonna go ahead and copy it's right here so copy this stream key and then we're gonna go to obs okay and then we're gonna go to settings okay inside of obs and then the first thing we're gonna go where it says stream and then you want to make sure you choose service rtmps youtube server you want to make sure you choose primary youtube ingest server and then use stream key and then what you need to do is you want to go ahead again add another one in here you're just going to go ahead delete whatever is there and then paste the stream key they've just got from youtube okay and then hit apply but don't leave you want to make sure you go to output make sure output mode is set to advanced okay make sure you choose streaming and then make sure you go to video encoder so for video encoder you want to make sure you use a dedicated graphics card so make sure you use a computer that has some sort of dedicated graphics card it's gonna do better and then make sure you choose nvidia nvec h264 now if you don't have nvidia graphics card you're probably gonna have some other graphics card but make sure you choose nvec h264 with that graphics card and then on under rate control you want to make sure you choose constant bit rate and then bit rate you can go maximum you can do 10,000. so it's gonna depend on your internet connection but make sure you have at least 20 megabits per second of internet speed and that's gonna allow you to use at least 10,000 kbps key interval 
you can use two seconds so just type in 2s everything else guys just copy my settings the way it is you should be fine now the next thing we need to do we need to go to video and then base canvas resolution you can use 1920 by 1080 output resolution you can use 1920 by 1080 common fps values you can use 30 frames per second and once everything is done again usually because this is sports people are going fast i used to use 16 fps but because of the bandwidth and the type of signal we're getting from the cameras it depends on the uh, starlink connection it's not probably not worth it to use 60 frames per second so go ahead and use 30 frames per second it works fine no problem and then everything else guys just leave it the way it is and then hit okay and you should be fine okay now as you get the signal everything looks good what you need to do guys is the next thing is just go ahead and hit start streaming and as you start streaming if i go to youtube we should be able to get the signal no problem so the next thing you need to do guys just to hit this go live button okay right now we're not live on youtube and if i choose this share kind of icon right if i click to it okay it's gonna give me the link to the live stream and you guys you can see that i'm actually live on youtube now if i go back to obs and i switch to another camera so let's say i switch to camera two as you can see it's gonna switch on youtube as well and i can switch to the split camera you can see that it's gonna show up to youtube as well and as you can see guys you can keep adding multiple logos for your sponsors you know you can just go hit add an image source blah 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 and you keep going okay another thing if you have video commercials what you can do you can hit the plus sign here and then you can add let's say video commercial okay and then you can hit okay and then under this you can go here hit the plus sign add media source let's call it add okay and then hit okay you don't need to check loop make sure loop is not checked then hit browse and you want to make sure we're going to go ahead and look for a video here so i have a mickey thompson commercial here that i used and as you can see it comes in just click ok and as you can see it's right here so let's say i was you know playing this scene right here and then we had some sort of you know we want to do like a commercial break Since i can just click to this and then boom the video is gonna play and also like you know you're gonna play that commercial and as you can see you can see the countdown as the video plays back and as soon as it's done it's gonna be it's gonna go to zero and then boom and what you can do you can go back to camera one you know go back to your scenes or camera two or to split screen whatever you want so as you can see that is super easy so guys another thing if you want to take it to the next level you can actually add you know other scenes called be right back or uh starting soon so let's say you start your stream but the, the rest hasn't started instead of having like people watching just you know a car that's not moving right you can play back some other cool stuff you know by adding graphics you know or some intro videos for your team or a highlight video you can do that basically do something like this you know you can see this is something that i designed for my team that i produce for where it says starting soon and then you have this uh you know sponsor logos kind of going on on screen before we get started I have this intro video where you know i can just play back the highlight moments of the team and things like that and then when it's time to start driving then i can show my team kind of driving you know camera one camera two you know have some other scenes you can see i added some graphics for my split screens as well so like you can see this is more advanced and if you know how to do that let me know down below just leave a comment and in my next video i'm gonna show you how to add those kind of juicy good looking scenes with graphics and of course guys if you need help setting up these things let me know if you can do it yourself let me know reach out to me i'm gonna help you uh, do it of course but other than that guys my name is sam and i'll see you next time take care